What's going on YouTube? Today you, you know what it is. Today is Wednesday. Now we, we always do my battles of all of the different items, you know, that come in all the sets. You know, we always do the three pack battles. So we got the three packs today. We got a little bit of a glare on there. I'm sorry about that glare, but it is what it is. You know, my my lighting in, the, in my room is terrible, but we don't just have one. We don't have two. We have six of the Reggie Steels. And on top of that, we also have the Weavile. We have six of the Weaviles. We're going to go at it. We got a booster box worth of this. If you could, you should really like this and subscribe to the channel. More and more things are coming in this channel. More and more editing. More and more just better quality videos and all that stuff. You know, I realized in the last video that my uh, my volume was really terrible. My mic, hopefully I can make it a little bit better. We'll see what happens in that case. You know, I'm still just kind of getting new to doing all this stuff, honestly. Like, even though my YouTube channel is a year old, I'm still getting new. But... We have a nice opening today. We have 36 packs. We got sleeve packs. Which ones are going to be better? We got the Weavile and we got the Red Steel. Which one's going to be better? Comment down below. Keep watching the video and let's get to it. All right, everyone. Here we go. Let's get on with the opening. You know, we don't want, I don't want to keep you guys going too long. Yes, we got the Red Steel. I'm going to do a little, a little bit closer. Um, yeah, I don't understand why they did Red Steel and Weavile and these. I'm honestly. Um, Two Pokemon that aren't really popular. They were doing the evolutions forever, but they stopped doing them on this set, oddly enough, for the last, like, almost last set of the, of the, uh, Sword and Shield. But anyway, let's get cracking. We don't want to wait too much time, you know. Me opening up all these, um, three packs usually takes a very, very, very long time to do. Videos tend to be a little longer. Here's the code card for the Registeel. If you guys want the Registeel and the TCG, I do not need all these code cards for all these Registeels. We got Beautiful Lost Origins. We got the Giratina. We're missing a lot of stuff. We're still missing the full arts. We're, mis I mean, we're still missing a lot of full arts, a lot of open arts, a lot of rainbows. But you know, if you haven't been to my channel before, you should definitely check out some more videos. I do these battles with every single set when it comes to the three packs and everything else. So definitely should check those out. Uh, here we go. We're gonna start off with the Leaf Energy. Interesting kind of energy to start out with. What kind of Pokemon are we gonna get today? We got ourselves a Litwick and an Oddish. We got Love Disc. We got Beautiful Last, where the Leaf came from. Ain't Glizor. All right. Nothing good in the first one, but that's okay, that's okay. Got plenty of packs to go. Like I said, this is a 36-pack battle. We got the three packs of Registeels. Six of them versus the Weavile. Six of each one. I do this all the time. I love doing this series. This is a good way for you to see what kind of pools are in in uh, different products that come out with these things. I mean, me personally, I've noticed that three packs usually are hit and misses. We got a Reverse Kingdra, Reverse Rare again, two Reverse Rares, and a Dugong. Double water that time, all right. Dugong um, was supposedly an interesting deck to play at first, you know, and it's kind of like, I think people kind of walked away from it, like, eh, it's too inconsistent. Hasn't really been even, I don't think it's even been even tried out. We got the last of the, the of this three pack right here, this number three of this pack. Here we go on my air. And actually, I am decently prepared today. I have my trash next to me and I have my sleeves next to me. I am decently prepared. We got Finny. I will go with that Dugong that we just got. We got Inke, we got Basculin, we got a Rosalia, Morgrass, and Bufflet. Um, with Grass, I'm almost done with all the Reverse Hollows. I can tell you that. I think I'm all missing Gloom. We're at the next Reggie. That re that three pack was a dud. See what I tell you. Um, this is a case I bought. I bought this case on eBay. So, I mean, I got a better deal than what I would get if I was going to go to anywhere else. Uh, I think I got these for like $10 a piece. You know, if I were to go in a store at Walmart, Target, or stuff like that, you know, I think they're $13 or $14 a piece. So... If you guys really like to open up a lot of cards and like like to collect sets like I do, like to collect the master sets, I highly suggest you just buy cases. It's so much cheaper and yeah, I feel like you almost don't get as disappointed <laughs> instead of buying them here and there, here and there. And you're definitely saving a lot more money. We got Gloomy and ooh, we got ourselves the first Ultra Rare. We got, uh, uh, I, I still can't pronounce it even if I wanted to right now. I, why do I feel like I'm so like backwards today? Here we go. Sorry if I feel like I'm like almost out of breath in a way. It's very hot in my place today. Um, I left my air on, you know, because I was because it was very cold the last couple days here in Iowa. And the last two days, I wouldn't say it's very cold, but it's definitely comfortable. It's you know in the mid nice seventies, nice comfortable seventies. My favorite time, my favorite weather. Fall is my favorite time of the year. I love the uh, cool down of the summer. I'm not a huge fan of the heat at all. Anything above 75 is uh. We got my choke and parasites. I can tell you one thing. I know I haven't gotten reverse haul yet, but at least we got one ultra rare. 
one ultra rare down and you know it's not, not expensive one that ultra rare going for like 50 cents on tcg player that's usually where i get my prices at um now that i mean today i'm really busy so we'll see what happens on editing but hopefully next week um i do know what i'm gonna do already I'm, it's gonna be a three pack battle it always is with uh probably sleep packs we got ourselves a swan and oh we got ourselves another gold zork gold zork number four i have pulled this card four times look we got a gold though i don't care Gold is gold no matter how you look at it. Gold Zorak in the house. What is going on? We got some gold already right away in there. See, this is why I like three packs. I mean, that three pack was great. Two ultra rares. The first one, not so great. But we already got ourselves a nice gold card. We are on the way of being fulfilling the booster box challenge of why I call it. Kind of in these things, you know. Because we do do, you know, a booster box. You know, it's like, okay, if I bought a booster box of these, what are, what are my... Uh, odds you know what are my pull rates what am i gonna get you know that's how i always think when i do this stuff all the time uh booster boxes you almost know what your allocation is but it's like it's like a not nearly as fun because you know what the allocations are and uh, i have an interesting opening up for you guys next week um next wednesday for sure i have a great idea what i'm gonna do for it um it's something interesting that i haven't done yet but i have definitely noticed we got a reverse sable eye hollow rare and Landorus. I say hollow rare because it is a normal hollow rare in the set. Another reverse rare. Very nice. I do think that Swana was a reverse I didn't have yet also. And that Zora kind of stole its thunder a little bit. And this pack just kind of like peeled. It, it, it peeled itself. It didn't even rip. It just peeled. There's a the code. And we going on. I'm still absolutely um, baffled by how fast my channel is growing. I'm super happy that I'm at 100. Tilt, tilt, tilting on that hunter, uh, you know, you're gonna get that. Hey, we got a nice, we got a nice trainer guy, Chandelure. Very, very nice. Very, I love this card, like a 75 cent card. And, ooh, Hollow Rare Machamp. Our first Hollow Rare of the day. And that Machamp is kind of interesting. It was really good in pre release. So I can really tell you about that. Um, never heard anything from it since. That's okay. It's a stage three, hard for stage threes to get any kind of traction. I know we have rare candies out there, but it is what it is. You know, and um, with my new job right now, honestly, I'm recording this on a Sunday, so I can't tell you the actual like updated prices. But I will tell you that Zorak was like a twenty dollar card. It's it's t it's been teetering around twenty dollars. Zorak just got a top deck, um, Jinx and Dugong. It was just a top ten deck, I believe. I got top ten in a recent tournament, uh, six hundred fifty people. So it might get might uh, that card price might go up a little bit more. People decide to try and make it with the Gengar. Um, that's all I can really say about that card. <clears throat> no, no, I dropped the code for the Reggie. Here you go. Here's the code. Dropped it, but I can retrover it. It's all right. It's all right. You guys get it. I don't want it. I wasn't. I wasn't gonna just let it sit there and you guys not get it. But anyway, how how are things going? Um, question about um Pokemon Go. I've been trying to play Pokemon Go a little bit more lately. Just a little bit here and there. You know, just pull it out, play with it a little bit. Um, ever since the last update, is it just me or is my app, my app's been having a hard time loading after the last update? We got spin around and Fable. Okay, okay. Nothing there. Nothing there. This is, you know, like I said, another three pack. We're on a fourth three pack already. We're actually we're flying through these and that's what I really want to do. I really don't want to uh, waste a whole bunch of time. I like, I know people like to, uh, they don't like to view anything that's longer than 20 minutes. And I don't blame you. Um, I tend to like I'll watch I'll put videos on my laptop while I'm doing other things and I'll listen and what's going on like and, and Hollow Rare Snorlax. There's a Hollow Rare you don't see that often. Very very nice. Who doesn't love a Hollow Rare Snorlax? Snorlax sleeping. Uh the vibes, the sleeping vibes. Those vibes are no such thing in my household. We do not. There is no rest here. No, no. It's always we gotta get something done. There's too many things going on in a busy busy life. I'm always sitting here like, how in the world did I, was I able to do it all while going to school? I don't, I don't know because it's. But yeah, as you guys can tell, during my school time, we got a reverse rare again and a bonnet, a very nice bonnet. All right, that three pack was a dud. I think we got the chandelure out of it, but three, that three pack was basically a dud. Next three pack here, we still rolling with the Reggies. Um, next week, uh, I, I'm not gonna, t I'm not gonna tell you. You guys gonna be a show without. You know what Wednesday is gonna be? Wednesday is going to be. I lost the origin opening. It is. Friday. I haven't quite decided yet. I really haven't. Um, don't really know what, what I have in my inventories. I gotta go look and stuff like that. I really should be more prepared when it comes to this. Like every week. Like know what I'm gonna do. But 
I definitely have some ideas, definitely have some stuff in the making. You know, like I said, the channel's going to get a little bit better and better. Hopefully a little bit more interactions with me personally. You'll meet C and me. We got Book Bug and Manetric. Still no reverse hollow gloom for the grass types. Still missing like about 80 cards out of this set for the master set. We all know why. Because I keep on hitting the same exact stuff over and over again when it comes to the ultra rares. Zork. Number four. All right. <laughs> sorry i know i know i can't complain about hitting a goal really i can't but man when you hit it four times it's like all right get out of here we got porygon 2 and ariados okay that pack was a dud too next next pack for the reggies reggies are not doing so hot they're not i mean we've had like what like at least two three packs so far that have had not had a hit in them and here we go here and this one, we start off with the fighting energy. What was I going to say? Was there a good fighting type in this set? I don't remember. I don't know. I don't need it. I need it. I need it. Coreless Reverse. Very nice. And Mr. Mime. That is a new Reverse Hollow. I will take it. I will take it to the bank. That Reggie pack didn't give us anything either. Except for a Reverse if we needed. Last Reggie. I'm uh, I'm pretty close to be feeling like the Sneasel, the Sneasel is going to win. Or the Weavile. I mean, the Weavile is going to win. Here's the last code for the last Reggie. And there we go. And we got our last three packs of Reggie. Gives Reggie some love, man. Hit that like and subscribe. Give, give Reggie a little bit of love. I mean, I don't know why they did this one. If they were going to reprint a Reggie or do a Reggie, they should have just reprinted the one out of, that's highly played in the Reggie decks. This Reggie, not going to get played at all. I mean, the best thing about that Reggie, we got a V-Star in this pack. Going to be a good pack. Feel it. That's all I can say about that. We got Torkoal. We got, you know, we got Porygon. Very interesting. Blip bug. We got a reverse square and a hollow rare, hollow rare shift tree. All right, still uh, I, I can't really. I'm not gonna say I really count hollow rares as hits right now. Uh, we need some ultra rares. We need some very shiny cardboard, not just a partial shiny cardboard, some highly shiny cardboard. A nice rainbow would be nice. Full art trainer, full art Pokemon. I would I would take those. Take an ultra rare. Any kind of ultra rare. I'm just begging for an ultra rare. We got ourselves. Oh, oh god. We got ourselves a full art glade V out of the trainer gallery. I'm gonna collect this trainer gallery so fast. I swear I'm I'm just digging through it so good. And oh a hollow rare bubber coal. That's okay. But we got the full art glade. Very, very nice. It does not beat the Zora when it comes to price, guaranteed. Um, not exactly sure on price. I think it's around nine or ten dollars. That's just my guess. It's because it's a full art and it's Galade and it's a fighter. There's where the fighting was. There's that fighting vibe that was coming out. Don't know. Last pack of Regigigas. All right. Here we go. The last pack of Regigigas. And don't, hey, don't, don't even leave. Do not leave. Okay, we still got Levile. We still got 18 more packs to go. Don't forget about those 18 packs. We got Fairy. We got Damage Pump. Very nice. And a Cramorant. I think that Damage Pump might be my first reverse of that too. All right. Well, no offense to the uh, to those hits over there, but I do not. I do think that's very underwhelming for 18 packs. Let's see what Weavile can do. Weavile, you have a better chance, right? I literally just grab these out of my case, as in like front and back, because that's how they put in there. One type's in the front, one type's in the back. So I literally just grabbed them front to back. Um, that's all I can really say about that. So there wasn't no like hunting and stuff like that. There's definitely no. Uh, I don't think there's any way to any way to uh, weigh these. But here we go. We got Lost Origin still. Who doesn't love some Lost Origin? Lost Origin is still the newest set. It's still fairly new. It's only been out for a couple weeks, right? I have been very consistent in my videos lately. Giving you the Lost Origins every Wednesday. Trying to come up with ideas on Fridays. Um, I really want to get back to doing three videos a week. I just don't can't afford it, honestly. Hey, we got ourselves a Radiant Gardevoir. Very nice. Already in Hollow Rare Snorlax. Look at that. I mean, you can cut that as a two-hitter if you want to. Not bad. Radiant Gardevoir. Not, still not worth a lot. About 75 cents. But I don't care. It's still a hit. No, nonetheless, very, very nice Radiant Gardevoir. I will take it to the bank. <laughs> take that 75 cents, man. I can almost buy a pack of gum. I don't know how much pack of gum is nowadays with the inflation and everything like that. But, heck, back in my day, you can buy a pack of gum for 25 cents. Now I found. Now I sound like I'm old. How old does that make me sound? Uh... <laughs> Anybody's curious about my age, I was born in 1990. I am 32 years old. I, you know, grew up on Pokemon. We'll just say that. Swana and Dugong. I grew up on Pokemon when I was eight years old. Base set came out in, in, the, in English, you know, in Americas. And that's when I started. Base set right away. 
wasn't uh family was poor couldn't get a god cards that's how i grew up i always grew up poor always had to trade for everything or do some sort of hustle you know what i mean <laughs> games so i could you know you know we'd bet on stuff you know as kids you know bet on bet who wins the game you know and gift cards we got a gift energy very nice i'll take it and fable all right what's up fable all right uh that pack three pack wasn't the best they at least gave us a radiant but that's okay that's all right i have faith in i have faith in weavile i really do oh there you go um there's the code for you i feel like i'm really trying to go fast so not waste a lot of time for your guys' entertainment purposes don't want you just staring at an empty screen the whole time all the time which is kind of why I really would like to do a face camera because, yeah, people don't want to just look at an empty screen while somebody's talking for, you know, however long it takes to open a pack with, like, 15 seconds, something like that, some sort of, like, thing like that. But, like, if you open a three-pack, all right, I gotta open a three-pack, then I gotta do all this. Hey, we got a reverse Mercado, and, oh, we got an Aerodactyl V-Star, and there's a hit. It's not, I know this card is not worth a lot. It has not gotten any love yet. There's just, it's having some, I feel like it needs some support somewhere. But it has a really nice card. You know, put the top three cards of, of your deck in the Lost Zone. Interesting concept. I don't know how well that is. I mean, 240, though. Um, I mean, it's at the point where it's like, is it? do you really want to smack an Arceus for 480 just to put that in your deck? The Ancient Power, though, is a very good ability. You know, it, it's an attack. And then it's basically a path to the peak. Um, so, uh, there's that. Question about rule boxes. Um... I haven't looked this up yet, but somebody might be able to comment on this for me. Art Phone and Glyzor. So, a Radiant has a rule box, right? So, does that mean that Path of the Peak cancels out the Radiance too? Like Radiant, so, we'll just say like Radiant Greninja, for instance, has a rule box on it. And Path of the Peak says Pokemon with rule boxes do not have abilities. So, does that mean Radiant Greninja doesn't have an ability? Makes sense to me. I didn't really realize that until I, was, until I went against somebody and he kind of mentioned it. I'm like, oh. Man, I kind of, I mean, we were just free playing. And I just like kind of didn't realize it. I'm like, oh, I think you're right. Honestly, we got Sokun and Comfy. That's a good card. That's a dollar fifty right there. I'll take that to the bank. I mean, I was in at that three pack. We got a Radiant though. I mean, we got a V Star. Nice little Aerodactyl V Star out of that one. Can't complain about that at all. At least I think I lost track of memory. My memory's terrible, everybody. My memory's terrible. I need to stop that. Stop playing around with my memories. All right, here we go. We got ourselves. Okay, this is the third three pack of Weavile. Weavile's doing all right. We've gotten a hit in every single three pack so far. So give give Weavile some credit. It's trying to win. It's trying to win. It's not doing well when it comes to price, but it's definitely you know doing really well when it comes to the amount of hits so far. We got this. We got Gasly. We got Nuzleaf. And oh, a Zork. Hasuian and Zork D. Very very nice. Very nice, you know, regular V card. You know, just a regular uh, ultra rare. But it's still a very nice card. Not exactly sure the price of it right now. Like I said, that deck just got a top 10. So that price could, the price of that card could very well go up in price. Um, I think right now it's worth about $2, $2 if I was going to put a price on it. Not 100 sure on that. So we'll see what goes, what happens there. But we got ourselves an energy. I mean, we'll take some darkness energies all day long. We love the dark. I love the dark. We got cram, right? Very nice reverse hollow anyway. And a hollow rare Zork. Okay. Alright. Oh man. Oh, oh, oh. Got a little got a little mind boggled right there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You should yeah, if you haven't already, you know, definitely uh you know, help support channel, you know, like and subscribe. I do know that most of my viewers are not subscribers. I can see that kind of analysis now because I'm getting those amount of views now. Um kind of crazy. All my videos are starting to get to, you know, about a 50 average. Um, with their video, which is very nice, because I remember it was at like a 20 average. We got a we got a deer versus deer and a polytoad. Polytoad got no love. Polytoad is not getting any love. Well, that one also gave us a hit. So hey, one hit per three pack is gonna make it beat on hits. But it isn't oh man, no, no, don't do this to me. Why is it gotta be difficult? There we go. We got one that had a hole in. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm wasting your guys' time. Just absolutely wasting time. Oh, 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 got it. That three pack wanted to be difficult. There you go. There's your uh, code for that Weavile. I do not need that Weavile. I see that Weavile is kind of an interesting card. Um, it's the first attack. It says it does 20 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for each damage counter on it. And I'm sitting here like, hmm. 20 per damage counter. Interesting. One prizer. Wonder how that would. Wonder how well that would work if you did some sort of like Blizzard where you did like. 
uh, Blizzard wouldn't do a big damage. We got Wind Up Arms and Manetric. I don't know. There's got to be something out there that I feel like it can work with. That that makes it so, you know... What not Isn't there an Absol? There is an Absol. I remember that Absol out of... Uh, uh, Astral Radiance that makes it and when it attacks it puts a damage count on all your on all your opponent's Pokemon. That's an interesting one. Um, but it's a one prizer, so who knows on that? Who knows how well a one prizer that could like that would really run? Considering that we hey we got ourselves an adventurous discovery. I was talking and we found something. We got a adventurous discovery. Another trainer gallery card. I do not have. I'm telling you, I'm gonna hit. The, I'm gonna get all the trainer gallery cards in the set. It's gonna happen. I haven't done the other ones yet. And oh, Hollower Cresselia. Very, very nice. Adventures Discovery. Very good card. It's not great, but good. It can be very useful in some decks. Search your, your deck for the three Pokemon Vs. So you can get the evolutions and you can get, you know, the regular Vs. It just says Pokemon V. It doesn't say Pokemon, you know. And put them into your hand. Very, very nice card. And that's all I can really say about that. And it's a very, very beautiful card. I'm always a sucker for like the jungle-ish kind of things. Jungle was my favorite set growing up when I very first started. Uh, mainly because that's when I was actually able to start truly collecting. We got Saviva and Stone Journer. All right, Stone Journer. Two more packs for Weavile. Oh, by the way, Adventure Discovery is going for like $10, by the way. I, I'm almost pretty sure on that card. Um, if it's not, uh, there's actually more um, Trainer Gallery cards. That are worth over five dollars then there are trainer guy cars that are worth under five dollars oddly enough um that's crazy and most of the quote-unquote full art ones are worth more than than uh like around like ten dollars except for like cook i think cook is only worth like 250 if that and watch it was the one it was one of the cars i never got out of brilliant stars um still ha still haven't gotten out of brilliant stars because i don't really i haven't opened a brilliant stars in a very long time on this channel that's okay We've opened up a lot of Brilliant Stars. Koala. And a Malamar. We had a Koala. If you guys want to watch my Brilliant Stars openings, go ahead. You know, I do have playlists of every single set. You know, and almost every... And, like, I don't remember how long I've been doing this kind of, like, stuff. But I'm pretty sure this has gone on since uh, last year um, with uh, Fusion Strike. So, anything or Fusion Strike on, I have done these little battles of three packs and sleep packs and booster boxes. And another reverse Coreless Energy. All right. And... Raichu! Alright, Raichu. You're cool. You're cool. I see you. Um, don't know if I really need you, but I, I see you. Um, I'll be honest with you. I do need that Raichu because, well, you know. Here you go. We got ourselves another code. And we are off on the last pack of this three pack. We got some water. Oh, I can really use some water right now. I'm telling you, it is hot in here. I am sweating. And it's not fun. Okay, it's fun. I'm having fun opening cards. Okay, that's part of the fun. Okay, Cascoon and Cramorant. All right. All right, Cramorant. You've already shown your face once, okay? Or twice or three times. The last three pack. Again, you know, show some love. Show some support. You know, hit the like, subscribe. You know, share my channel out. Sharing is caring. Sharing does help. I, I, I can see how my videos are uh, at least get, got, getting a hold, you know, and stuff like that. And people watching them. We got the last three. Here we go. Lost Origins. It's all about the Lost Origins. Can we get something crazy out of the last three pack? Because these three packs have been kind of weak. We got four and four. Four and four. We got eight hits out of 36, well, 33 packs so far. Out of 36 packs. So we need to get something else rolling here. This last three pack needs to be amazing. And oh, we got ourselves a like Rainbow Garatina V Star. Now that is something crazy right there. I think Weavile just came in the lead and took it. Just like that, at the very end, Giratina V Star. What is up, Rainbow Giratina? This Giratina is worth about thirty-five dollars, guaranteed thirty to thirty-five. I know it for a fact. I know the gold one's worth like forty. Rainbow Giratina V freaking Star. Wow, absolutely gorgeous. I'm so stoked that we just pulled that. It just felt like we weren't really getting anywhere, and we finally got something absolutely amazing. That's what's up. That's what's up. It was no, it was no alternate art, but I don't care. It's a rainbow Giratina V Star that we did not have. And I'm so happy I finally pulled that card. Because I really felt like I wasn't going to. There's it's just like my my Charizard V Star. Never pulled it. Pulled like everything else out of that set, but just could not pull that Charizard. We got the Giratina. 
What is up? That right there deserves a lot. That is right there deserves that subscribing and like. Let's go. Let's do this. I knew it was because he. Oh, we got a Snorlax. Look at this. The last three pack coming in hot to let us know that it, we are here and we are winning. And a file plume. Still a hollow rare though. We got Snorlax. What's up, my boy? I think it's, it's worth about a dollar. Love the Snorlax. Who doesn't love to eat? All right. Giratina V Star. That is where it's at. We had a rainbow. We got a gold. We got a full art trainer. We technically had a full art Pokemon with the Gallade. This, these 36 packs all of a sudden at the very end came in hot and gave us our allocation of what a booster box is. Rainbow, gold, full art. Two full art segments. Full art Pokemon and full art trainer. The only thing we really were lacking on is regular ultra rares. But if you're pulling those, that's all that matters. The hard ones. We already got all the ultra rares. And we got a Sui and Arcanine. What is going on with the last three packs? See what's like. One three pack could change everything. Three packs are crazy. You just don't know what you're going to get. And oh, an Aerodactyl to finish off the Aerodactyl V Star. That is why we love three packs sometimes. Sometimes they can be absolute bangers. Look at that. That last three pack gave us four ultra rares. Four ultra rares and three packs. That's what's going on. We, fin we actually finished the line. I didn't think it was going to happen. We finished the line. We all came in front at the very end. So just stole the show. That's what we're talking about. Right there, you should hit the like, subscribe. Just, just do it. I give away code cards on all my videos. So you should definitely even just get the code cards to come and check it out. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate all the support. I love how we're growing here. I'm having so much fun actually doing this. This is my, by far the most fun I've had on my on a YouTube channel so far. I love trying to do the edits and trying to do little things and just try and make it a little bit better every time. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate all the love and support. I'll see you guys on Friday. Until next time.